Welcome to Electron Line, and here's our next example of how to take a circuit with resistors and simplify it down to a single equivalent resistor. So what we're trying to find is the equivalent resistance of this particular circuit. And when you have a circuit that looks like this, the best way to do is to start from very back and work yourself to the front, where you have the terminal connectors, as we call them. So what they want to know is what is the equivalent resistance between A and B with all these resistors connected to it like that. And what you want to do is you want to start from the back and take these three resistors because notice they're all in series. When you go from there, this junction to this junction, you must travel through all three resistors, so therefore they're in series. And of course, when we add series resistors together, that gives us the equivalent resistance. So the equivalent resistance of this branch right here is three times the value of each resistor, therefore it's 3R. So sometimes instead of using numbers to indicate the resistance, we simply say each resistor has value R. And since they're in series, the total of them would be 3R. So now we draw the equivalent, the equivalent circuit. And so this will now look like this. We have our A and B terminal. And we still have these three resistors. So we have one, two, three. Now this one will be a single resistor. So we still have one, two, three. And notice that we have this resistor left. We have this resistor left and we have this resistor left. And so these resistors right here became this equivalent resistance and then now it's going to be the 3R resistor. All the other ones are still R. There R. We go. R. And again, remember, they're in series, so simply add them together, we get 3R. So the next step would be to combine these two resistors right here because those are now easily seen in parallel. You take that branch point and that branch point, going from that point to this point, you can either go to the R resistor or the 3R resistor, and therefore they're in parallel, and we're going to combine those. And remember, when you have two in parallel, the equivalent resistance, R equivalent, is equal to the product over the sum. So this is going to be R times 3R, which is 3R squared, divided by 3R plus R, which is 4R. The square cancels out that one, so you're left with 3 quarters R. So these two, equivalent, these two resistors combined turn into a single equivalent resistance of 3 quarters of an R. All right, let's draw that. So the next circuit we now have, we have an A and a B. The terminals, whoop, wrong letter. There we go. And so we have, we still have these three resistors. So we have one, two, three. Here we have one, two, three. That's the three in the bottom. We still have this resistor right there. We still have this resistor right there. But now those two combined form a single resistor back here, which is now three quarters R. Everything else is still R. Okay, so far so good. So now we're going to draw our next circuit by Simplifying even more, we're now going to take these three resistors and combine them. All right, they're in series, and therefore we can simply add them together. So an R plus an R plus three quarter R is two and three quarter R's. So two and three quarter R. So that two times four is eight plus three is 11 or 11 quarter R. So maybe we want to write it like that. That is the sum of R plus R plus three quarters R. Notice if there was three R's together we have 12 fourths but minus a quarter is only 11 fourths. So now we're going to redraw the circuit. So let's come over here. In our circuit we still have an A and a B. Notice we still have these two resistors. Down here the same. We still have this resistor and this resistor. So we still have this one and this one. Now those three resistors combined will now form a single resistor and that resistance will be 11 fourths R and everything else still be a single R of resistance, whatever R stands for. Okay, so far so good. Now we want to combine those two and those two are in parallel. So again, we use the product over the sum. So the R equivalent for those two is equal to R the product times 11 over 4R divided by R plus 11 over 4R. Okay, so this would be 11 over 4R squared divided by, 
Well, a single R is 4 over 4, plus 11 over 4 is 15 over 4R. And notice that the square cancels out this one, and 1 over 4 cancels out 1 over 4 there, so you end up with 11 over 15R. 11 over 15R. All right, so that, those two combined will form a single resistance with the equivalent resistance of 11 15 R. So now our circuit will look like this. We have the A and the B. Notice we still have those two resistors and those two resistors and the one in the middle there. So we have this one, we have this one, same down here, this one, this one, and we have this one in the middle. But now those two combined form a single resistor, and that resistance is 11 15 R. This is still R, this is still R, this is still R, R, and R. All right. Starting to look a little bit better. Now we have these three at the end. And since they're all in series, we simply have to add them together. So we have an R, an R, and 11 15 R. So each one of those are 15 15, 15 15, and 11. That's 41 15. So what I'm doing here is the R equivalent. So we have R plus R plus 11 15 R, which is 15 over 15, plus 15 over 15, plus 11 over 15. That would be 41 over 15. So that equivalent resistance would be 41 over 15 R. So our new circuit will look like this. We have the A and the B the terminals. So we still have these two resistors. We have this one right there. And now those three combined will form a single resistor. resistor. The value would be 41 over 15 R. This is still an R, an R and an R. All right, we're getting close to the end. Now we take the two in the back, and those two are in parallel. So we're going to combine those. Of course, when they're in parallel, we use the product over the sum method. Let me come over here and redraw the circuit. So here's our new circuit. It's going to be, we have the A and the B. Those are the terminals. We have this resistor up here. We have this resistor up here down here. So if we have those two remaining, that will become a single resistor right there. This is R, this is R, and what would be the equivalent resistance there? It's the product of the sum. So we have R equivalent is equal to the product, which is R times 41 over 15 R, divided by the sum, which is R plus 41 over 15 R. So that becomes 41 over 15 R squared, and in the denominator, notice this single R is like 15 over 15, so 15 over 15 plus 41 will give me 56 over 15 R. The R squared cancels out the R, the over 15 over 15 cancels, and we're left with 41 over 56 R. 41 over 56 R, which will go in here, so this is 41 over 56 R. Wow, and now what we have to do is add those three combined, right, I'll, I'll add those three together, they're now in series, we simply have to add them up, and so we now end up with a single resistor, single equivalent resistor, here's the terminals A and B, with a single resistor representing the whole circuit, and that would be 2 and 41 over 56 R. That would be the equivalent, R equivalent of the circuit. Simply add them up. And we'll just leave it like that as a mixed number. But that would be one single resistor of this value can replace this entire circuit and give you the exact same electrical properties. That's how you do that.